Eight miles from Perth, on the banks of the Swan River at Fremantle, is HMAS Lewin. This is the Royal Australian Navy's junior recruit training establishment, where young Australians aged 15 and 16 start their naval careers. The Navy's junior recruits are average Australian boys. They've joined Lewin either straight from school or after a short period in civilian employment. They've shown that they are boys who are able to live in harmony with their parents, their teachers and other boys of their own age. Junior recruits will train at Fremantle for 12 months. They will sit for an academic examination which will qualify them for the Navy's highest non-commissioned ranks later in their careers. Each year, some boys are selected for higher educational training, which will make them eligible for selection as cadet midshipmen. But Lewin is a Navy school, and the young men who are soon to man the Navy's fleet must also learn about the sea and ships. The High Line is the Navy's way of transferring men and stores from ship to ship at sea. On land, it's fun, but it's also valuable training for boys who love the sea. Knots are just as important a part of a sailor's training today as they were 200 years ago. At HMAS Lewin, a careful balance is kept between academic studies and the teaching of basic seamanship. A trick at the wheel, this time ashore, but during their training, all junior recruits can expect to go to sea. This is a big moment for boys who love the sea the first trip in a warship of the Royal Australian Navy. But today's voyage will not be far. Their ship, HMAS Diamantina, which carries out much valuable scientific and oceanographic work, steams into the Indian Ocean. Man overboard. It's only a drill. But practice brings the speed and efficiency which must be second nature in an emergency. These young sailors will have been given a sound, basic training in elementary seamanship by the time they leave their Navy school. During their last six months at the junior recruit training establishment, the young sailors are allocated to one of the many specialist branches of the Navy. As far as is possible, recruits are placed in categories of their own preference. For some categories, practical aptitude tests must be passed. And for boys who want to be divers, aptitude shows best under the water.
of the year at HMAS Lewin, the junior recruits will join ships of the fleet for between six and nine month sea service before they begin training in the specialised categories. Some will move to Sydney, others to HMAS Cerberus near Melbourne. A third group will spend time at the Naval Air Station at Nara, New South Wales, to learn to maintain and handle the aircraft of the fleet air arm. Some will become air crewmen. The choice of career is wide. On a warship are electricians, radio operators and gunners, cooks, clerks and mechanics. There are photographers, surveyors, radar plotters and dental mechanics. All of them are Navy trained. In the First World War, the first Australians to go into action were sailors who fought on land. Today, sailors, in the same tradition, must learn the elements of infantry soldiering. The life at Lewin is more than work. It is here that recruits make friendships which will last throughout their naval careers. It's also a healthy outdoor life. Some boys grow between three and four inches and put on between 10 and 14 pounds in weight in their first three months at the Navy's Western Australian establishment. Boys join HMAS Lewin from all over Australia and many facilities are provided to occupy the leisure hours of young men who are probably living away from home for the first time. The school is split into divisions and senior sailors and officers are assigned to look after individual groups to provide the family discipline and advice growing boys need. Each year, a junior recruit has six weeks' leave, which is taken in two separate periods. On both occasions, the Navy provides free travel by air or rail to and from the home of his next of kin. There is no place in a Navy warship for a man who is not physically fit and sailors are kept fit with free medical and dental attention throughout their naval careers. Young men must also learn to relax. Very different young men to the untrained boys who joined the Navy a few months before. Ready to join the ships of the fleet, these young men display the pride, assurance and maturity they've gained as junior recruits of the Royal Australian Navy. Yeah.